Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back. So this is um, pretty much, I think I'm good. So we'll find out. I have copper foil here that I'm going to put on the edges of every single piece, um, and then I'm going to frame it with came. It's um, a weird name for it, but I don't, and I don't know why they call it that, but it's basically a frame. Came as a frame. Um, and I'm noticing that there's like a little ding on this glass, which I'm not really thrilled with. There's like a little kind of scratch here. Maybe I'll just flip it, but it'll be backwards. But at least it won't be on the front, you know? Um, and those were the only two pieces of that color, which I love that color because it's just super clear and pretty, but um, the other thing was I had two pieces of clear glass in here. I put them away now. Don't know where they are. Anywho, it just didn't look right. Um, so I switched them out and I ended up just using this pink glass. So I think it'll be pretty. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of doing it in a pinch. So I really want to, meaning I'm, um, I don't have time to spare. Now this little, um, this looks kind of close here, but I think it'll be okay. Now, in the previous videos I talked about um, you need your puzzle to fit together, and that's the reason that we use these scissors to give us that little quarter inch space. So once I've finished putting all the foil on, um, oh, to create these other two pieces, I just printed out another copy and cut them out and so it's not it, it's not the same because I didn't cut it up against the other pieces that's what I was gonna say so there's tweaking you can do it's not as an exact science as quilting so I can fudge it a lot more and, and it's fine so the next step is to do the copper foil and I have this is black coated I think I'm gonna use that um, this is just looking um, it doesn't Okay. Stained glass foiling tape. I got this at Hobby Lobby, by the way. Hobby Lobby has um, a bunch of stained glass supplies. Um, but yeah, and this I think is extra wide. And as I said previously too, I haven't done this in a while. So I'm just hoping um, that I, <laughs> I don't forget completely what I'm doing. All right, but because this is black backed, I'm going to use a patina on here at the end with to create, to make the solder black. I'm going to patina the solder to make it black. So the first thing, you should probably clean your glass, and this is not clean. I'm seeing residue on it. Um, like I see little, you know, there's probably a little bit of glue still left. I cleaned it very roughly. Um, so I'm, I am not a perfectionist, and that probably isn't your best bet because this has to stick to the glass, this tape. So it's like a, um, so it's got a sticky back to it. Now I used to have a real good technique for this. So I'm going to peel up some of it. You can see the black part. And then I just take my glass and center it. So that a part of it, and I'll show you once I get it on. It's a little tricky when you first start. But you basically want it to be going down the middle so that you have half of the tape. Well, not it's not going to be half, obviously. But a lip of tape on both sides of the glass. So I'll show you. All right. I'm going to try and zoom in. This is going to be very tricky. Oh, you can see it totally. Okay, you can see this little part here has a lip of tape, and this has a lip of tape. So that's what, you, what you're trying to accomplish. And I hold it in such a way that I can, I'm going to zoom back up because you know me and zoom in, that the tape... I can see it, so I'm looking at it like this, and I kind of just press with my first finger of my left hand as I go, and I generally get a pretty good look at it that way. Like I can see where I'm going is, is what I'm trying to say. 
Um, gotta go all the way. My birds are freaking out. That's my budgies. That's little man. I don't know what is he. He might hear me talking too, and he wants to get involved. I haven't. Um, they're my budgies are not. Um, they're still flighted, so I haven't clipped their wings. Generally, when you have a bird you would clip their wings it just makes them a little more tame and that way you can have a pet that you can interact with anyway all right hold on let me focus because I'm at the end here all right so I'm just gonna overlap a tiny bit and where's my pink so there they are so I'm gonna cut this and then all right now now here's what you want to do so I'm going to take and just take my fingers and go from the top down and press, push down like this and just push those edges down onto the glass. And when I get to the corner, I kind of, I think it's called mitered and I always say beveled, but I mean mitered. I think I should move this. It's a little too um, distracting. So I'm going to pinch here and then I'm going to go this way. So that's going to create a mitered edge. And I don't think you can really see it when you, when all is said and done, when you're um, soldering or anything. But it makes it nice and neat. So I'm just pressing my fingers down. So this hobby is really rough on your hands. I didn't end up with too many cuts last night. I was pretty happy. And I was done by 11 o'clock, so a couple hours it took. And I had a couple changes to make. All right, so this seems pretty good. But for one final thing you do is you take this little, uh-oh, and I don't have it ready. Hold on, here it is. You could use your, your um, bone folder too, but I happen to have this little tool. It has, I don't know, a little smiley face. I don't know why. This is probably for something. I don't know what. But it's just like a little brayer tool, and I'm just going to roll it along the side. Make sure you get good adhesion, right? You really want that stuck down to the side. Because this is basically what holds the piece together. This is the glue. Once I put solder on top of it, it will be so... And I'm just going to roll it along the edge too. Not too hard because, you know, it's glass and it can break. But, so that is done. And it really looks pretty with just the copper color on there. So I have to do that to every single piece. So I'm going to put the TV on and I'll just sit here. It's super hot out. Today's an exercise day. But I think I'm going to go to the mall. We have a mall about like a mile from my house. So I take this, the black part's the sticky side, and I just eyeball it in the center of the tape. And then just with my finger, I just lead it up the edge, press down, and keep going all the way around. Oh, there was a guy in my yard. It was the meter man, the water meter man. I thought I saw something out the corner of my eye. My craft room has lots of windows in it. And actually the meters are all right there on that wall to my left. All right, so that was a much faster piece. And you just cut it so it has a little overlap. And again, I hold the glass as best you can and just press the side down. But then I pinch at the top and then I push it over. See, now she notices. You're a little late, kid. And then, so that's another piece done. Kirby! Again, just make sure it's all flat. My, my 11 pound dog she's just a ball of fury hey sorry guys Kirby 
See how well she listens, too. She's a good listener. All right. This is what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. Well, this morning. It's still morning. So then you put that back in place. And so, hold on. All right, I did half the heart. I'm going to show you the difference when you put it together, What, how the seams make it come to life. Um, the other thing you do when you, after you've put your copper foil on the piece, so I, this, I still have to do this one. Let me come in. I just don't like to forget that I'm zoomed in. This is my last piece that I have to make sure is stuck down. You also want to make sure everything's even. So remember, I put it, I put the tape on, tried to put the tape on so that it would evenly be on both sides of the glass. So I've done pretty well at that. Then you look at it. I have my X-Acto knife. And just see if there's any overlap. So there's a tiny piece here. Not nothing really to worry about. So those are all looking good. Now these were ones that I saw an issue with, and I would probably do each one as I came across it, but I figured I'd or I could do it this way. But just if you take the exacto knife and just go down the side, you can get rid of any lumpy bumpy parts, but you still need tape there, so you don't want to cut it all. This kind of looks a little weighty, but that'll be a corner, so I'm not that concerned. Um, I was also thinking, so it took me two hours to kind of cut the glass and grind it last night. Well, I'm estimating two hours. I don't know specifically. Then this will take me about an hour, so that's three hours. And then it'll probably take me an hour to solder, so four hours. And then, how much is are my um, 
tools and so the tape isn't cheap probably eight bucks a roll and then so you have to kind of decide how much of that I'm going to use um, and depending on how much you make per hour to create something like this that's how you would come up with a price for the piece now see this my bevel you really can't see it but when I talked about beveling the edge I see some of the black part so I want that to be underneath so I'm just gonna fold it the other way and that's being really picky but the fact is the the solder won't it the solder adheres to the copper so that this is actually what is going to hold everything together the other thing I wanted to mention was um, if you were doing a bigger piece, because I, I kind of like the puzzle part of it, you would number each one of these with a, a, a Sharpie to make sure that you knew where they went back into um, place. So see, originally everything was numbered, and I think that's just out of habit. Oops, let me zoom back up. See how I forget? But if you were working on something pretty intricate and with similar size pieces and everything you need to know which ones go where so everything needs to be numbered so you would put a number on here so that you knew where to put it back into the piece now here's what I wanted to compare with you guys or not compare but show you that when you put this foil on here it um see I'm just gonna wipe there's a little bit of um, glue probably but at the end after I solder everything I'll clean it up real good I think this goes here and these go here um, what was I saying so yeah you really want to make sure that's done because boy you would have a mess on your hands all that work for nothing if you didn't know well, it would just be a lot more troubleshooting that's all I wouldn't scrap it but yeah it's a lot of work I'm not gonna lie but I enjoy it I just don't do it to the point that it gets that it's not fun anymore because then <laughs> I'm not I'm not having fun I don't want to do it you know I don't get paid to do this and even if I were to sell it I don't tend to sell it for really that's my dad used to get on me about all the time that I wasn't charging what it was worth type thing or my time oh this one for my time and all that stuff so let's see how this fits in here now and I'll put this one together too so that you can see how those lines the grout I call them grout lines the um, solder lines really play into the design and I like it so my line is pretty straight down the middle you can see that I'll come in a little bit but it fits so everything's straight because I'm gonna put like I said the frame around it the came frame just push it in and then when I start to solder I will use pegs, little um, stick pin type pegs to hold this together. I actually have um, little pieces of metal that hold it in a frame. That's what I'll use. They're straight and then so um, everything will be straight and then I'll solder. So and I'm going to solder right on top of this. This is just a piece of um, ceiling tile that my husband and I cut down and I just put duct tape on the edges and it's a mess. but. It's super, you know, I made this in a couple hours, and it's a very nice, um, I'm giving it to my niece, Rachel, for a, a belated wedding gift. Um, and I think her and her husband can look at it and remember me and remember their love. Um, I was going to make her a, a polymer clay frame, and I still may with a wedding theme to it because I haven't ever done anything and I was, so anyway but it would just have taken way too long so I'm so glad I thought of this so the next video I'll come back this will all be um, taped 
and ready to go and I will solder and it's nothing you haven't seen before I have done this before in previous videos but I just figured I'd turn the camera on and um, take you guys with me alright you guys so that's it for now thanks for watching